One question I get asked a lot has to do with compound paths. It frankly, it confuses a lot of people and older versions of Illustrator um, made it a little more difficult to work with them. But even the newest version of Illustrator, which I'm in here, uh, CC 2014, um, still is problematic in some ways. And this is something that Adobe's been aware about for years. And for whatever reason, they decide to ignore it and never fix it. Um, actually, they might even argue that this is expected behavior, which in my opinion um, is at best confusing. So I'm going to demonstrate what the problem is. And you see three pieces of art here. And these are all obviously vector art. Um, we're going to start with the this figure on the left hand side of this car and I'll zoom in so you guys can see this a little better. And if we look at the appearance panel with this artwork selected, you can see it says compound path. So we have elements. If I select this flame shape and this little wisp of flame back here and even this arm, these are separate shapes. They're not fused to anything else. They're free floating if you want to call them that. But yet the whole artwork as a whole, you can change the color um, to whatever you want and it acts as a compound path. Now, grouped elements will kind of behave the same way, um, but once again, that's where people get confused. Uh, they never think about compound paths because a lot of times, or most of the time, they're working with grouped elements and that's where you can run into problems. But let's say we wanted to add some detail to this flame. And we're gonna just go ahead and color this white and we're just going to make these little orb shapes as if it's the inner part of the flame and it's shooting off it can be anything you want this is purely for demonstration purposes only so let's say that's what we wanted to now knock out of this artwork. So instead of being white sitting on top of red, it shows through the black. So we'll want to select all of these shapes like that and go to um, Pathfinder and we'll click this, which is Unite. It unites all the shapes into one unified shape. So now we can just select it and move it as a group. And if we look at appearance, it says group. Now, if we take this, select our artwork, and now we want to punch it through like a cookie cutter, we'll go back to Pathfinder and we're going to use this function, which is minus. I like to call it punch. Um, engineers give names to tools that are just idiotic in my opinion, uh, but punch. Just think of punching through a shape so it acts as a window, a donut hole, if you will. Uh, so with these two selected, we'll click that. And now if I draw another shape and we'll make this a different color, like we'll color it a light blue, we'll send it to back and you can see how it's now showing through our art to the background color. So it's, um, it's a compound now, it's a compound path. Well, it's visually acting like a compound path, I should, I should say, because if we go back and look at the appearance panel, our original art was a compound path, but as soon as we punched out a shape, notice that the characteristics have changed. If you look in the appearance panel over here, it says it's a group. So that's one thing you need to be aware about when you're working in Illustrator is even though something may be a compound because you've created that, as soon as you edit like we just did, it revert, it loses that characteristic. It goes away, it disappears. Why it disappears, I have no idea. It should retain its compound nature, uh, but for whatever reason, uh, the brilliant minds at Adobe decided they would just remove that whenever you use it. So what people run into is they don't notice the subtle change in characteristic of the shape. They continue to build and they might go, you know what, I wanna, I wanna put a hole in the side of the car I don't know what it is. I mean, uh, 
let's say right here for one whatever reason we're gonna we're gonna make it a three-wheeled car let's call it that and so we need to make the wheel well so we're gonna position that right about there and we're gonna select this and we just want to punch this out but watch what happens when you do this and when you're zoomed into your art a lot of people won't notice this happening and they'll continue to build and then they'll go whoa wait a minute what happened to my artwork well watch what happens when we punch this out now things disappear how's that possible why is that happening well that's the nature of the problem uh, this is a pretty extreme one you will notice that because pretty much everything but a tire disappears but it's because it loses its compound nature. So as soon as you make an edit, like adding the flames, it'll work on the first attempt because it's a compound, but it reverts to group. So before you punch anything else, you have to make sure it's a compound path again. And to do that through the menu, you go object, compound, and make. But as you can see, I've assigned an F key to it. So after I make a change like that, I just hit the F key in this case F7 and watch it change over here it's now a compound path and if I select our wheel well and I punch it it behaves the way it should it just punches it out but if you go back to the appearance palette it's a group again so that's the nature of the problem so you always have to be reapplying the compound nature to your artwork otherwise you'll lose it and it'll cause things to disappear and they won't be as overt as you saw what happens with all this artwork um, they'll be subtle you might lose the tip of this flame or, or part of a piece that's free floating and you won't notice it until you're an hour down the road and then you're like what the hell what happened to my artwork well at some point an engineer decided that should be the way it works and we're stuck with it and that's the workaround to deal with it so um, just because I'm anal I want to finish adding a third wheel to to our car here okay that looks pretty crappy but this is just an example so we're gonna move on to the, to the next piece here so um, that applies to this one as well so once again if we click this and we look at compound um, the only free floating part of this artwork is this internal figure and his arm everything else is self-contained and um, within a shape um, interior shapes tend to not be the problem it, it's almost always just free floating shape shapes that are associated with the art but not attached to other shapes or fused with them they're free floating uh, think of an island so this is a compound path as you can see in the appearance panel over here and so what we're going to do we're going to decide you know what i think this dude needs a he needs to be wearing a watch so i'm just going to create the shapes really quick to make it look like he has a watch on his wrist fuse those now I'm going to select that select the art and I'm going to punch it and it works fine but once again look our nature has changed to group now so let's say I continue to work and I, I, I'm going you know what I think uh, I don't know I think his I want to give him a belt that's what we'll do so we'll go here we're just gonna create a shape that will punch through to represent him wearing a belt we'll select that we'll select the art and if it's not once again if you haven't fixed the compound you're gonna lose art things will disappear so we'll punch through and once again in this case it's pretty extreme you're, you're not gonna not notice that but that's the nature of it so you have to always F7 return the compound nature before you punch the next shape and then it works so why Adobe engineers decided that's the way it should work who knows they never answer those questions they just dictate them so um, you're going to have to figure it out but that's how you deal with it now if we look at this art there's nothing free floating in it it's a compound path because there's a donut hole for the eye and so these aren't problematic in terms of 
uh, removing stuff initially because like the other ones, if we decide, I don't know, give this guy a collar or whatever, and we punch it through, it's fine. You know, it works good. Let's just say we want another segment taken out of his, his neck. When we punch it without changing it back to a compound, you can see we'll lose his head. So if you're working on a more complex illustration, something that's far more complex than this simplified artwork, um, you're not going to notice small details that may disappear when you use this functionality. And so it can really cause problems. I've ran into this so many times, it's not even funny. I'll be so focused on something, zoomed in on content, making little detailing, not thinking that, oh crap, I forgot to make sure I had that compound, only to find out later um, I lost artwork. And it was so far back, I couldn't recover it. So it, it really is a good habit to get into. As soon as you punch something through, make sure the compound nature is returned. Otherwise, uh, you're going to lose content moving forward. So that's what you need to be aware about when it comes to compound paths in Illustrator. Um, by the way, this artwork you see here was part of a book that I just got done this last summer called takeandmakeart.com. You can check that out. And I hope this helps. Thanks.